Hey guys, how you doing? This is Julian Lee, your internet coach for online success. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and demo a software by the name of Face Sniper, a great tool to use to create custom audiences for your Facebook um, PPC campaigns, okay? And um, just so you guys know, I've, I've, you know, you guys may have seen my video on uh, Facebook Lead Chef. I've been using that for quite some time. I was, I, I used to use Social Lead Freak as well, um, but right now I guess there's some API issue with it because I can't log into it. But I've always preferred to use Facebook Lead Chef. That's always been my go-to uh, software. Um, so I was looking for something because I've been realizing that I have to use two different pieces of software to do what I need to do now. Right now, uh, Facebook Lead Chef doesn't take advantage of graph searches. And yes, there are some free uh, plugins you can use for Chrome that will actually allow you to do that. But there's some functionalities from there that's also missing. It's very slow and very clunky. So um, I like the fact that Face Sniper actually incorporates everything that I can do and more inside of this actual software, more than I can do with Facebook Lead Chef. So that's why I decided to actually demo this software. Um, Actually, one of the developers reached out to me because of that video um, and you know, told me about the software and they've been making some great changes to it and working on it and doing some very good things, which I really like. So I decided to um, demo the software for you guys and show it to you and see how you, so you guys could see how you could actually use it in your specific business, okay? So um, here's the interface. And the cool thing to know is they're completely web-based, so it's not based off of a Mac or PC. It's completely web-based. So And again, you can log into any device, but you can only log into one device at a time. It is IP-based. So... If you're logged into your laptop and you go over to your iPad, for instance, you have to make sure you're logged out of the software out of your laptop first before you can use it on your iPad, you know? So let me go ahead and get logged in. And uh, let's go ahead and get in here. And I'm going to do some searches and show you guys how I would use it. And I'm also going to do, um, you know, also um, log in and add a, a, a custom audience in Facebook just for the folks who may have seen a video don't, that don't know how to do that as of yet, okay? All right. So once you log in, I'm going to go ahead and allow it to access Facebook. They actually have their own plugin that works along with the software, which is really cool also. So um, now that I'm in here, obviously you can do search for groups, uh, pages and events, and of course the graph search. But let's, so let's start with a page. Let's look up uh, someone in the industry. Let's say Lawrence Tan. Let's take a look at him. That looks spelled correctly. Let's see what it comes back with. Oh, there it goes. All right, so if I want to extract his audience, this tool is cool because, you know, he's got 15,000 likes on his page, and obviously, right, not everyone who likes him are actually active. But well, this software has a cool algorithm which it allows you to extract all the passionate fans. So I don't want to waste time pulling everyone that likes him because most of these folks are not responsive. So when it comes to running my Facebook PPC ad, I maybe end up wasting clicks and getting charged more money, right? So I want to go after the most active, passionate fans, so that way if I run an ad and I test them out, I want to be able to get the highest click-through ratio I can to allow me to get the cheapest click. So I'm going to go ahead and extract uh, the passionate fans. And this is going to be really cool. So it's going to go ahead and pull those. It's going to go through there. And it'll actually give me accounts, you know, of how many passionate fans are there. And the cool thing is I can actually stay on the page. I can actually save this, right? So I actually search, save this, and it'll actually show up here on the pages and you'll see some other ones I've actually searched for. So here's this audience. So there's 684 passionate fans. So I can always go back to this in the future because this is saved right here. And if I go inside of this, this is another cool feature. Within this, right, I can actually extract the popular loser, uh, the popular users rather, right? So as this comes up, you'll see they've got six to three uh, pop, uh, popular folks. And of course, most of you guys may know these folks from Empower Network, Leila Black, Alex Zubarev, um, Robert Mercado, you know, Mercado, and a bunch of other folks, but you know, of course, it will show you all of them. So, it allows you now. I can actually extract either one of these. Okay, I can extract the uh, the popular folks along with um, the passionate folks. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and download that real quick. So download that there. I'm actually, just, I'll just dump this on my desktop. So let's download that. Um, yeah. Let's put it on my desktop. So I'm going to put that on my desktop. Save. And I'm going to actually download the popular folks as well. And let's go ahead and put that on my desktop also. So let's go ahead and hit save. Yep, it's going to the desktop. All right, cool. So now this, this will do the same thing, guys, for events and um, groups. And, of course, if you're in a secret or closed groups as well, you can actually extract the user IDs from there also, all right? So that's really cool. Now let's go over to the graph search. This is awesome because I've been using this a lot and you can see here, 
I've been pulling some audiences. Again, what I really like in a graph search is fast and allows you to, to actually save the searches. So I can actually go back. And if I pull a group like this that's extremely targeted, right? I could actually go back and see what the, the search criteria is and try to tweak that as well. So this is really awesome that this software allows to do that. So here's a search I did before of people who like uh, follow Mike Dillard and like Think to Grow Rich and live in the United States. So if I you know, if I test out this audience, it's small, but if I got something extremely targeted and could get a good click-through ratio, this will open up some other things for me. So I can look for you know different countries, UK, Canada, and things of that nature. And I can actually really tweak my search some. So let's do a new search. And being that we started with Lawrence Tam. Let's do a quick graph search. And this is what I like about what it does better than just the normal plugins by itself. Obviously, I could do everything in one in one spot and I can actually save it. That's the main thing. It allows me to be very uh, very productive. So let's say people who follow oops. Lawrence Tam, right? And likes. Let's say Rich Dad. Poor dad, right? Who likes that book and uh, live in the United States. As you can see, there it's got the UK already there for you. So this should be a very targeted group, right? Because these these folks have three specific things in common. So let's see how much comes back. And this is more than 100, which means it could be anywhere between 100 to 999, for instance. If it says more than 1,000, then it's um, it'll be the same type of thing. So if I want to extract this specific group, I click Extract here, and it'll go through and do its magic. All right, so it'll pull all these IDs, and it'll actually save them. So I could, again, continue going and searching and doing different graph searches and getting some really laser-targeted um, user IDs I could actually market to. And you know, people can use this for any niche. It doesn't matter real estate, um, weight loss. It really doesn't matter. You could get very, very targeted using this software. Again, it's it's pretty quick. And let's see how much it comes back with. Like I said, it could go up to 900 and change. I really don't know how many people are, exactly how many people are in this audience. But when it goes through, it'll let me know when it's done. So let's give it a few moments there, guys. And um, you know, at the end, what I'll do is once we pull this, um, this group, I'm actually going to walk you guys through uploading it into um, into the power editor so just for the folks who are brand new and never done it before um, to use a power editor you need to have Google Chrome that's the only browser that would allow you to have access to the power editor to where you could actually update you know upload your custom uh, campaigns and I'll walk you guys through that but this software is really cool I really like the features and there is there's a couple of ninja things that will be added to this that I've been talking back and forth about the developers are that they're actually really looking into that's going to really put this software really, um, you know, the additional value that this software has. Not only is it obviously, you know, makes you productive and can do a lot of things with it, um, but this Ninja trick, and I really can't even mention it because they haven't released it as of yet. Um, it is a one-time cost for this software. It's not a monthly thing, which I always like. I always prefer um, software where it's just, um, a, you know, a one-time charge and you get the free updates, right? So this particular audience is 358, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. All right, so here's that audience right here. And again, you know, I can, I'm going to go ahead and just download that now. All right, so let's go ahead and download that. And what I like about this software is um, some software that you use, you know, you may have to go into the file itself and edit it and then change it around a little bit before you upload it uh, to Facebook. In this particular case, you could go right in there and upload it right away. So there's no additional editing you need to do, and that's that. So, But this is the real walkthrough, and, you know, it's very straightforward um, to use this video. Let me show you guys now how to actually pull this into um, right into Chrome all right and actually create your custom audience so let's go to ads manager here and uh, let's see and we're gonna go to audiences so this is only show up again only for using Google Chrome okay let's wait for that to um, to load up and I'm gonna pull in I'm gonna actually upload those three audiences let's create a new audience what I've been doing is testing out different laser targeted groups. So here's where I'm going to go to the custom audience. I'm going to select the user IDs here, right? I'm going to give it the name. And actually, I'm going to pull it up first before I give it a name. So I'm going to just browse to the location. I've got this on my desktop. So let's go to all files. Let's find this Lawrence Tan. There it is. Lawrence Tan audience. So these are all the folks, the passionate members of Lawrence Tam. So I'm just going to give it a name, just for my reference. 
lines 10, and other save page. All right, so all I want to do is to create that audience. So just go ahead and click on create. It'll automatic, automatically be added, and boom, it's right there. Just hit OK. Just waiting for that to update. And there's that group. And if I want to pull another one, I'm going to go ahead and do another one as well. So again, user IDs. I'm going to browse and choose a file. And let's go to all files here. And I've got that. Let's see. Lawrence Tam audience. People who follow Lawrence Tam. Okay, so here's a graph search result. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. People who follow Lawrence Tam are like think of grow rich and live in the United States. So I'll just say Lawrence Tam. All right. Think and grow rich. Rich US only. All right. So I know as I'm actually adding this this specific custom audience to my campaign, I'll know exactly what it is, right? Um and let's make that capital right here, just for my preference and boom and that's all it takes guys and then you know it's just from this point on it's just a matter of setting up some different campaigns and testing out these uh these groups right and you want to put them in separate campaigns so you reach your work and you'll kind of get an idea you don't want to have more than one ads in the same campaign uh, so that's one nugget to keep in mind because i've made that mistake before in the past where i actually have multiple cam you know multiple ads in the same campaign and my reach facebook will whichever one gets you on um, the best results Facebook will keep on feeding that specific one. So you definitely want to have different ads in different campaigns as you're testing them out. So you could do that very quickly through the power editor, all right, which is right here. So guys, that's the, the quick walkthrough. And, um, you know, right below this video, guys, there's a link there. Go ahead and pick that up. Um, go ahead and grab the software. Um, I might even have someone reach out to me about asking about the Facebook leech have because of that video. But I'm telling you guys, this, this allows you to be a lot more productive, allows you to create a lot more groups, allows you to save everything. So if you test stuff out and you know to go back, you know, wow, this particular audience worked out pretty good. So you can see that I've been pulling a bunch of them as of late for different things that I'm testing out. So go ahead and pick up this software right below the link. If you've got any questions, guys, hit me up through Facebook. My link there to connect with me on Facebook. You can hit me up there um, and ask me any questions, you know. Um, always try to offer as much value as possible. And any software that you guys see I review, it's always something that I actually use in my specific business. So that way I can show you guys how to use it. And again, I always try to offer as much and give as much value as possible, right? So again, this is Julian Lee, your internet coach for online success, guys. Thank you very much for checking out the video. And like I said, if you have any questions, hit me up through Facebook, comment below in the video, and just go ahead and click that link right below the video and um, go ahead and pick up the software, guys, and start using it in your specific business. Thanks again, guys, and I will see you on the inside. Take care.